Good afternoon. Before I uh, start uh, moderate this, this panel, I want to follow uh, what Mr. Lukovan did last night to pose the following question. You see, I, I think my Chinese is pretty bad that you did not understand my question. So let me ask you in English. How many of you are foreigners? <laughs> See, we Chinese have this habit that we go to a different country, then we call the host the foreigners. <laughs> if we think that China, China is going to lead, I think we should start changing that mind setting because that's not going to work too well. Now, I came to this country in 1986 as a foreigner, and I'm still a foreigner. I've been learning a lot. When I came here in 1986, China was at a very different place, at least economically. At that point, if anyone, no matter how visionary you were, or, or she were, or he were, that if you said, in 30 years' time, China can become a country where an entrepreneur can come here to buy companies, to do all sorts of things, people think you're crazy. Because literally, that was impossible. Now, the 30-year time has passed, and the change has been so dramatic, a lot of things are just cannot be foreseen, either bad or good. So I want to share with you a joke from China I heard recently, probably described pretty well what has happened in the past 30 years. So I'm going to say it in Chinese. So we have a long history of China, but it can be divided into three stages. The first stage is the last few decades. In that stage, the most painful thing for two people to meet each other is that they can't see each other and they can't see each other. So we call Chinese the Old Woman. 第二个阶段是在持持续了几几十年，在那个阶段里边，最痛苦的是看得见对方，但是摸不着对方。那是因为有这个 Internet。现在是最近的这个几年是第三阶段，现在最痛苦的是摸得着对方，看不见对方，是因为雾霾太大。<笑> I hope someone is translating. <笑> So now, uh, in order to face all these problems, but also really make China the lead, uh, we really have a lot to do. And today, we're so pleased to have this distinguished panel. And uh, the panel will go as the order as printed, with the exception that we will have uh, uh, Professor Bill Kirby to talk first, uh, because Bill has published this book, Can China Lead? Now, the significance of this book is, for those of us come to the, at least as old as I am, you, we all remember that little red book, right? Hong Bao Su, right? Okay. And this is going to be the new big red book. <laughs> Professor Kirby.